Welcome to Moon Wellness. Sorry, the video is not great. I'm playing with a new... Anyways, hi, welcome to Moon Wellness. I'm Jamaica, host of Moon Wellness and owner and creator of Jamaica Moon Wellness. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I wanted to just jump on for a quick session to talk about aromatherapy as a form of self-care and overall wellness. I think it's a really great way to incorporate um, self-care into your daily routine um, throughout the day that's really helpful in a lot of different ways. So I thought we could talk about that today. So um, first of all, before we get started, I always just like to um, welcome everybody by starting with like a couple deep breaths. I think it's really important to remember to take deep breaths throughout the day and that we're breathing and paying attention to our breathing. So just being mindful of breathing, I think is really good. I'm going to try to adjust this just a tiny bit. Okay, I hope that's a little bit more helpful and clear. Um, the lighting is not great. I am working on that so that hopefully in the future it's a little bit lighter. But that's fine because we're kind of creating a mood here to talk about aromatherapy and self-care in general. So taking some good deep breaths. I hope you've had time to check in with yourself this morning and again this evening or will do again this evening on your self-care checklist to make sure that you're sort of keeping on task with all the things that you want to do to take care of your mind, body, and spirit. So I'm not going to necessarily go over it because I need to do, I think I'm going to do a whole new episode on the daily self-care checklist because we did it a long time ago and a lot of people haven't seen it. So I think I'm going to redo it and we'll go over the whole thing in one good moon wellness episode. But for now, I hope that if you're not aware of what I'm talking about, that you've just taken some moments to check in with yourself throughout the day to make sure you're giving yourself the, the tools and the things that you need to kind of be your best self, right? To be the, your most productive self, to make sure that you're physically taking care of yourself so that you can face the world that we live in, mentally taking care of yourself, spiritually taking care of yourself, because it's a lot right now. It's a lot always, and it's a lot, lot right now. So taking some good self-care moments is always important. And aromatherapy, what we're gonna talk about tonight is like a really actually easy, very low maintenance way to activate a lot of the things that we talk about when we're talking about our self-care checklist, right? Making sure that we're nourishing our body and soul with good things in a good environment. Well, that's sort of aromatherapy. And what is aromatherapy? Let's start with the basics. So aromatherapy is basically using different natural, I like to say natural, I guess it could be non-natural as well, but we like to talk about natural things here. So using natural um, materials, aromas, different aromas to stimulate, um, you inhale and smell it, and it stimulates different receptors in the nose and that send messages to receptors in the brain um, and your limbic system that trigger memory and healing, help and healing, and can alleviate physical and um, emotional pain. They really hit some of those receptors that bring up a lot of that stuff. So different aromas targeting specific reasons and specific areas of ourselves physiologically can really improve our emotions and improve our wellness, right? That's what we talk about when we talk about the mind-body connection. So there's so many different ways to go about um, using aromatherapy um, and it really can there's there's great research there's actually um, a documentary that's on Netflix or Hulu or one of those right now uh, talking about I think the it's like a little docu-series called well or something like that it's really interesting and they do an entire one on essential oils which we're going to talk about a little bit tonight and as part of that episode they interview and follow a clinical aromatherapist who works with different patients who are um, going through emotional and physical traumas, who have undergone, undergone severe physical injuries and or um, diseases, 
and how they can really help alleviate pain and alleviate emotional suffering by using your sense of smell. It's something that I find really fascinating. It's something that I unconsciously have done since I was a kid. We were big in my family, like incense and candle burners. And my mom cooked with really um, a lot of different aromatic herbs and things. So the house was always smelled a specific way that triggered a lot of warmness as I was growing up. So I've always responded to smell really significantly and really been able to use it as a tool in my own healing and in my own general wellness. So like it, like I said, it really can alleviate pain, um, improve digestion even, and promote healing and um, promote appetite, um, ease stomach issues. I mean, it's really amazing the things that you can really use aromatherapy for. So there's so many different types of aromatherapy. Um, and we're going to talk about a couple of them, and then I'll probably focus in a little bit of us on essential oils. And then I think what I'll probably do is do an entire moon wellness episode on essential oils because it's my personal favorite. I there's an endless amount of things to use essential oils for, um, not just for aromatherapy. So we will probably do an entire episode on that. But for now, um, just kind of the obvious ones that you probably have around your house and if not really have easy access to. So lighting candles, right? I have lit a couple. This is one of my favorite candles. You can't smell it obviously, but I can. Um, it's, it was a cap collaboration with, um, a couple different people that, um, in the wellness industry that I really like. Um, one is a ceramicist, one sort of a wellness, um, kind of lifestyle person and they collaborated to come up with this really great candle that's in this beautiful vessel and so this candle they have I think they had three scents this is their floral it's got notes of lavender and jasmine and ylang ylang all things that are really calming and really relaxing which is what I'm looking for in a candle right <laughs> especially these days so yeah it's beautiful um, and then the fun thing about candles when this is all burnt out, I can clean it and use this for like a little teacup or I can pour my own candle back in it. Anyways, so lighting a candle is a super simple, um, I actually suggest either making your own candles or really doing a little bit of research to make sure that the candles that you're buying, um, are clean burning. And I would suggest purchasing scented candles that are scented with pure essential oils rather than fragrance oils you the word fragrance has a lot of problems in the in the beauty industry and in the wellness industry it's chock full of chemicals and things like that we really don't even know what it is it could be a lot of things so you want to really look for things that are essential oil based all natural um natural waxes natural not a lot of other ingredients other than like some wax and essential oils um they're actually really easy to make i do a diy tutorial um all about candle making it's simple. You really need, it's, it's like one of those hobbies that you think is way more complex and you think you need way more things than you need. And then you gather your materials and you realize, Oh, I had a lot of this already. So I actually recommend, and maybe I will, I will probably do a DIY candle making at some point, but for now we're talking about aromatherapy in general. So lighting a candle, it's the easiest thing. Go to a great, uh, wellness apothecary, any store like that. There's tons of them. I would very much encourage you to shop small, especially during the holidays. I sell a candle, it's the Jamaica Moon Wellness line. This one's not the best because it's really old and burnt and this isn't even the label anymore, but has got flowers and essential oils and crystals in it. Um, and it's just, it smells really good. And I, there's different candles for different reasons, right? You're gonna look for different scents for different reasons. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Um, diffusing essential oils is really one way that's great. Um, you can get yourself just like a little essential oil diffuser, something like this. It just you add water you add a couple drops of essential oil and the best thing about diffusers is you can make some custom essential oil blends which we will definitely get into and blending different scents together can really trigger some powerful aromatherapeutic benefits memories and healing um, so lighting candles diffusing essential oils lighting incense this is a super this incense is stuck in this thing Lighting incense. This is a super old school, just like your classic patchouli incense that you could buy at any like smoke shop or anything like that. 
lighting incense will immediately alter the vibe in the room for sure. And it really cleans the air. These are also great things to just kind of cleanse the energy in your house. Speaking of cleansing the energy, one of my favorite scents aromatherapeutically is sage. This is a sage wand that I made that's just got some great white sage and some rose petals because rose is really calming and um, heart chakra related and it really can relax you and promote rest and good sleep. Sage is one of my favorite things because... It really cleanses the energy in a space. Um, this is something that I recommend for aromatherapeutic purposes and for energy purposes, having on hand in your sacred space, just keeping a sage. And there's so many ways, there's so many great sage wands out there. You just gotta find the one you kinda like, the combo you like. And then just sort of, yeah. Oh, it's immediately calming and you just sort of feel like the energy has shifted a little bit because it has. So sage wands, smudge sticks, Palo Santo. Um, there's so many different kinds of smudge sticks. Palo Santo, sweet grass. Um, there's cedar. I'm sorry, this is cedar. There's sweet grass. Um, there's so many different ways to get natural aromas for different reasons into your space. So what? how do we use these things, right? Why would we light a, a candle that smells like lavender versus a candle that smells like peppermint? Good question. So the reason I think aromatherapy is so, aromatherapy is so great is because of what it can really do when you combine different smells and different herbs and things like that, different plant oils. Um, so like, let's talk about immune support because that's something we should all be really paying attention to right now. Um, our health is really kind of the number one thing that everyone's really concerned with right now. Not only are we in the middle of a pandemic, but it's also like regular cold and flu season. Uh, my allergies have been really bad. Um, the weather's changing. It's getting colder. So using s smell in different ways, especially with essential oils in combination, can really help support your immune system. What I have diffusing right now in the diffuser is an essential oil combination that I put together for my immunity. It has things like thyme and oregano, frankincense, eucalyptus. Those are all um, fragrance. I don't like that word. Sorry. Those are all natural smells that really are going to promote healing inside. And, and, and they're also like antiviral, antibacterial things. So that is going into air. Those smells, that mist is going into the air and creating a better, like it goes going directly into my breath and, and inhaling all those good smells and all those good, um, all that good vapor right into my lungs. And it's really going to do really good things for me physically as well as emotionally. So using it as immune support, diffusing peppermint oil in your house, rubbing peppermint oil on your chest is a really good way during, uh, cold and flu season to keep yourself breathing, keeps your lungs open. That smell goes right into your nasal passage and opens everything up. So does eucalyptus. Um, I've talked about before when we were talking about indulgent ways to have some self-care and the ritual of bathing, we were talking about a steam shower with eucalyptus. Well, just getting fresh eucalyptus branches and hanging them in your shower and creating a really steamy environment with a hot shower is going to release those essential oils right out of that eucalyptus and it's going to feel not only is it going to smell amazing but it's really going to help open up your lungs help open up your breathing path passages and promote like we were talking about immune healing and immune support so super easy ways um to just help your immune system one thing that i the reason i started using aromatherapy in general especially essential oils and um candles as well is I am a horrible sleeper. I have bad insomnia. I wake up a lot. I have a hard time feeling falling asleep sometimes, or I fall asleep easily, and then I wake up and can't get back to sleep. So it's kind of a constant issue. So starting to diffuse different essential oils at different times of the day was really helpful in cueing my body how we were going to our energy was going to flow during the day, right? So in the morning, I would wake up and either topically apply or diffuse or light a candle with the essential oils of citrus and peppermint 
um, really uplifting lime is a I love like a lime peppermint sage combo that just like gets me going in the day or a great lemon and grapefruit combo or something citrusy those things can really help you have energy and focus in the beginning of the day which is sort of what I need so maybe diffusing those things or inhaling those things or lighting a lemon scented candle or oh, cutting a lemon squeezing a whole lemon just keep it on your counter and just you know taking some smells of it throughout your morning that's the direct from the source starting your day with certain essential oils and certain smells and certain natural um, natural smells in your own house like like cutting a lemon or cutting a lime um, putting it into your water that can really put your energy on a path of focused intention and then maybe later in the day I'd start to unwind a little bit and I'd start with some, you know more of the sagey eucalyptus make sure I'm maintaining some good health make sure that I'm still feeling good I've spent a lot of energy how is my midday slump and then in the evening I really started to do more of the stress relieving um, chamomiles and bergamots, things like that. And then when it was bedtime, bedtime is when I would like kick it up a notch with a chamomile or a lavender or a valerian. Valerian is amazing because you can ingest it in certain forms. You can diffuse it and smell it. It's amazing. It really, really helps fall asleep and keep me asleep. So sort of guiding my energy throughout the day using different scents was a really simple way for me to cue my body rhythm into like what I actually needed it to do, which was work during the day when I needed it to, rest in the evenings and then sleep and stay asleep so that I could wake up and feel refreshed. So that's one of the ways I really started using aromatherapy. So things for, I kind of always think of like them kind of linked stress uh, stress relieving, anti-anxiety, relaxation, and sleep. Like that's sort of the like, I want to go down that path, right? So things um, things that are really great for all of those things, but in the more stress-related, the anti-stress, relaxation category, right? Before, we, when you just want to mellow out, but not necessarily go to sleep yet, that's when I would suggest things like lavender, la lemongrass. Lavender's so good. I love lavender. Um, my partner cannot stand it and is Kind of really allergic so it's too bad i can't like diffuse it all the time but when he's out of town i diffuse it a lot and i buy myself lavender and sneak it little places but yeah buying yourself dried lavender or fresh lavender or diffusing lavender or using a lavender body lotion or something like that um, lemongrass lemongrass is something that i feel like is way underrated it's an incredibly fresh really beautiful smell that really promotes kind of it works really well with lavender too it kind of creates this just like chill vibe immediately um cut i love i cook a lot with lemongrass um, i make a lot of like asian food with lemongrass and sometimes i'll just cut the part that i'm not using in the food and just like save it in the kitchen i actually do that a lot with kitchen scraps my partner really loves eating passion fruit and um you scoop passion fruit out of its kind of little shell um and at the end the whole thing is like scraped out and it smells like heaven it smells like Hawaii it's the best thing ever and we just leave it in our kitchen for like a day and before we throw it out because it just smells so good right and that's like doing nothing that's just taking something that we were already doing we were already going to eat that and leaving it out to get the aromatherapeutic benefits sorry I got sidetracked back to um, anti-stress and relaxation um, ylang ylang oh actually that's that's kind of one of my sleep ones lavender ylang ylang are my are my like I like, they get me mellow, but sometimes they can make me sleepy too. So I like to use those like lavender with the lemongrass. It'll keep me on like a chill vibe without a sleepy vibe. And then maybe lavender with the ylang ylang when you want to go more like to sleep. Um, bergamot, citrus things. There are certain different citruses. I like to use like lemon and orange and grapefruit in the morning. They're a little bit more uplifting. And then things like bergamot and lime and like yuzu in the evenings they're they're a little bit more relaxing to me so there's just and there's not really a wrong way to do this there's tons of information that you can find on like where to start how to start looking for specific scents for specific reasons but honestly in terms of when we're talking about aromatherapy for mood and for emotional support really if it feels good do it I mean I wouldn't 
diffuse a bunch of lavender for my partner to get him to relax because he doesn't like it. So it wouldn't really make sense to calm him down. But uh, I would for me because I love it. And then I would choose something he likes chamomile. So I would put like a nice chamomile oil on for him. You just kind of have to do what works. You know, go with your intuition. We talk a lot about intuition on moon wellness. And it's because self-care should be intuitive, right? We should A, want to take care of ourselves. And we should listen to that voice inside us that goes, yeah, this is for me or no, this isn't for me. So if we're talking about healing, that's a really personal thing. So you're going to want to use the smells, the scents, the aromatherapy that triggers that healing for you. So a lot of this is trial and error, right? For me, something that's really healing both topically and to smell is tea tree oil. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it matters. And you again can't smell it, but I think most people know what tea tree is. And it's really pungent, right? I just got some on my lip and I'm going to smell it the whole rest of the night now, but that's okay. It's super pungent, but immediately, and I don't know the science behind this. There probably is some, but for me, tea tree, when I smell it, I immediately feel invigorated and healthier and a little bit cleaner, if that makes sense. I feel like it's going, it goes into me and it travels through me and it makes me feel clean on the inside, healthy, you know, germ free. And that's a really good feeling right now. And I keep, um, tea tree and it's little sister who I can't find right now. Um, Copaiba, which is kind of a, a cousin of the tea tree plant on hand during this year, because they make me feel like I'm healthy and like I'm healing. And that's a really important thing to feel healthy and to feel like you're on the track healing. I have essential oils all over my hands now. Um, Especially in a year like 2020, right? Being well is an act of revolution right now. So we want to do all the things that make us feel well. Um, getting back to a couple different ways to use aromas, specific aromas. Um, we talked a little bit about immune support and sleepy time and relaxation time. Um, if we're talking about focus and energy, which is something that's been so hard for me as work finding out how to live this way and go back to, I mean, there's no normal, but we're going back, we're going to have to figure out how to, you know, keep moving forward in some way and keep doing the work. So finding the energy again to do the work has been a super challenge for me to like get back to being active in a community, even though that's online, you know, to be participate in the world again, even though I'm still at home. It's been really hard for me. So I've been working a lot with different smells to promote some focus and some energy, things that we talked about a little bit like peppermint, lemon, um, basil. Basil is one of my favorites and um, it's actually a really good essential oil for Geminis. I'm a Gemini. Basil and peppermint is a great combination. Again, these are things I grow in my garden. Sometimes I just go outside and I pick some basil and I pick some peppermint or and some lemon balm. I love lemon balm um, in, the other, in the mint family. And I just kind of squish them up like this. And then I just sit there and enjoy the smell. Let those natural oils pull on my hands. And I just kind of walk around. I had a girlfriend in uh, college. She was ended up being my roommate. And she used to carry this little like handkerchief around. And she would always sort of just sniff it every once in a while. And finally I was like, girl, what's up with the sniffing of the handkerchief? And she was like, oh, I have horrible allergies. And I just every day put a little bit of like lavender peppermint and I forget something else that she used to use in her essential oils and every time she'd feel like she's getting head clogged and sinusy she would just take out her hanky and inhale it a lot I thought that's genius you know something her grandmother did when she was little that's using aromatherapy in your self-care routine to make sure that you're staying healthy right every time she felt like she was getting clogged with congestion and sinus pressure she would inhale some smells that would trigger that healing in her brain. Amazing, easy ways to use aromatherapy. Incense is a huge one for me. Incense is like a cue. I have a several different kinds of incense. I, if you know there's sage, if there's sage incense burning in my house, it's because like someone's coming over or someone's been over and I need to clear the energy. If there's like that sandalwoody, yummy or frankincense smells, those are like my sacred time like there's we're having downtime and quiet time it's like 
meditation time and reading time and listening to music time. And then, you know, if there's like a lavender candle burning, it's like my relaxing me time, self-care time. So I think I've set up cues to my friends and families that know when they come over what the smells are in my house mean. And another thing, another really great way to use aromatherapy, probably the oldest and best way to use aromatherapy is just cooking and using different herbs, right? Um, everybody knows what their mom's house smelled like, you know, whether or not she cooked. Those smells of your family home trigger things in you, good or bad. You know, that's the other thing about aromatherapy. Sometimes smell can trigger some trauma. So it's really good to know some ways to get you back out of that. And aromatherapy can help that as well, you know? Anyways, thinking about those natural smells, those cooking smells. For me, there's certain smells at my mom's house, like garlic for sure. And my house constantly smells like garlic also. In fact, probably the predominant flavors in my house are garlic in the main part of the house and then like a citrus sage combination in the bedroom. Um, but any of those smells that trigger that, you know, for me, seasonal stuff, like we're moving into those, that, that fall, winter thing where spices are really important to me. I want to smell cinnamon and things baking and sweetness and spice and clove and cardamom and things like that, you know? And so there's lots of ways to do that. Sometimes just simmering those little herbs kind of on a, like a little bit of heat, oh, like just literally get a little pan and put a little of those fresh herbs in a little pan with a little olive oil and just let that low simmer in your house. It's amazing how good your house can smell and how much different that can make you feel. If you come into home from a stressful day, if you are able to go to work or for whatever your day is, even if your energy, if you've been home all day to shift your energy, it can really put you in a completely different space. In fact, I think that's even more important that now that we've been stuck at home so much, there's sort of this one note energy that we're living in because we're not really going anywhere. We're not seeing many people. So it's sort of one note. We're sort of just like this again. Um, using scent is a really great way to change up that mood and trigger your mind, body, spirit to be like, oh, we're in a different space. There's a different energy happening right now. Um, that's why I diffuse different things in different areas. That's why I cook different foods in different seasons. That's why I buy different candles in different seasons. All of those things are because I want to create an environment of well-being, health, joy. You know, I want to trigger feelings of happiness and peace and calm and not stress. You know, it, even when I want energy, I also want it to be calm energy. So aromatherapy is a really great way to kind of start, and it's pretty inexpensive too, to start working with smell to help you heal. And when we're talking about wellness, we're really talking about living our best life, being our healthiest selves. And like I was saying in the beginning, being healthy and living well right now is more important perhaps than ever for so many reasons. Energetically, we're shifting into a really different time. That's gonna take a lot more energy from us physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. So making sure that we've got all the whole, I want all the tools, right? I want aromatherapy. I want crystals. I want good food. I want hydration. I want all the things because I need to have the best toolkit, right? To, to prepare myself for the rest of my life, for the rest of this journey. That's why I love aromatherapy. Like I said, I think we're going to do a full um, moon wellness episode coming up probably in December because I have some really great uh, winter and holiday um, essential oil combos that I would love to share with you guys. So sorry, there's a fly. Um, so I probably will do an essential oil uh, moon wellness episode in December. So you can always check my schedule on Twitch or you can check my website, which is jamaicamoonwellness.com on the events tab for upcoming episodes. You can also always watch old episodes, including this one on my YouTube channel, Jamaica Moon Wellness. So I hope that you find some of those resources helpful. And I can't, I will actually, I think the essential oil episode will really 
make a lot more sense out of aromatherapy in general because I think it might be the most potent way to use aromatherapy. So if you are intrigued at all by aromatherapy and would like to learn the best direct way to really start that journey, then I think um, the essential oil episode in December would be really great for you and I'll make sure that I post about it. So please follow me on Instagram and check out the YouTube channel and I hope to see you guys in the future. Have a great night. I really suggest going and lighting a good candle or diffusing some essential oils. If you do not have a diffuser, it's really easy to just grab an essential oil. Yelling, yelling. Now I'm gonna be calm and sleepy. Thank you guys for joining. Um, I hope you have a great night.